high school. But like, do you remember when Kendrick Lamar wrote that song about everybody? Control. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. it. And then people were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But he leaned in after that. Like, yup. That's and right. And he's like, that's right. But I'm leaning in. Let's yeah. go. Who is it? Who are all the legends? Let me go at, like, boom. Uh-huh. He leaned but in. He, Cannabis he had made, a chance. He, he named a lot of the young thing. boys. He didn't, he, there's some names that rock. he didn't, there's some names he didn't put out there. <laughs> uh. Now, now, it, it, granted, <laughs> it may have been that, that, that Daddy. class of MCs. So I'll go Daddy. back and listen to it, but I remember there was some there was some Daddy. names he didn't mention. I, do <laughs> I don't think none of them none of them don't want to with K Dot though, man. Nah, they nah, nah, nah. Don't K-Dot. nah. That's straight up you know, a battle rapper though. He said what? what? Is K Dot a true battle rapper? I mean, is he somebody that could literally smoke somebody on the track? I think he because he's got an unusual delivery and style. I think he could. Yeah, I oh. think we're all battle rappers. Yeah, I think what you hear is yeah. yeah, I think what you hear on his songs is completely different than what he's going to give you in person. There you, you go. Know, his songs is him taking advantage of the technology and really using all of his creativity. Yeah, right. person live and direct. Yeah, I, that kid's still a problem. Yeah. <laughs> K- yeah. K- Kendrick had a song called. I'm gonna have to look it up. Dang, I can't believe I can't think of the name of it. My son introduced me to it. Um, dang. And he was he was bombing his dream. It was before he became Kendrick. Um yeah, I think I think he could hold his own in a, a mono mono situation, yo. Oh yeah. I think he oh, yeah. I think he's got it in him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I if if I was in a room with people and he was there, he's not the person I would pick to go against first. Let's try. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I gotta see him, let's make it later in the event. Hey, hey Mr. Know. Rashid, can I ask you? Go, people, sit down. <laughs> Mr. Rashid, can I ask you? Like, yes, sir. Uh, it's everybody, but Mr. Mr. Rashid, if like, if 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 being a rapper is like being a samurai or being a fighter as Steve, Mr. Steve the Voice said. And then if you take out your sword, don't take it out unless you're ready to draw blood. If that is so, and you have to, you ready, if you're gonna be like a rapper, this like storytellers, right? That's a little different. There's music song makers and all that, but if you wanna be a battle rapper, you're like, I'm the best, should not. And with the idea that to take out the sword is to draw blood, should not every rapper do a song like Control? Yeah, I think you should. And I, I think there's, I think most verses, oh, I, I think at its essence, hip hop has always been that. Hip hop has always been bravado. Hip hop has always been, let me find another way to tell you how much better than you are. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's always been hip hop. Um, uh, You know, like uh, on, um, like one thing Alex and I do, like after we send each other verses to kind of dissect them, we'll go back and be like, yo, did you catch that? You know what I'm saying? Um, and <clears throat> and all yeah, at one point I said, um, any battle I'm at, you'll take the L like the cater. And um, you know, he came back, he's like, yo, that's kind of dope. I'm like, but did you catch it all? And he was like, what you mean? I was like, yo, any battle I'm at, you take the L, Atlanta ATL, like the cater. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, sh-. and I'm like, you, but That's all right. of my rhymes have stuff in them like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and in um, our song Jam, I said, um, yeah. I get an invite like and it. drop pass, but I get an invite and drop pass, but I laugh because it's ass. And to be honest, that booty shit don't move me. A lot of trap music or that stuff now is like kind of, you know, they call it strip club music. You know, so yeah. I get an invite and drop pass and then I laugh because it's ass. And to be honest, that booty shit don't move me. But the other thing right. about ass is all similar songs, all sounds the same. Right. Ass was just an acronym right. for a bunch of stuff that all right. sounds the same. So right. nobody's nobody's gonna catch That's that. Beautiful. Nobody's gonna get the, you know what I'm saying? But Everything I write, I try to put stuff like that in there. I say all that to say, yes, I think you should always have stuff in your songs that people are like, oh, crap, I didn't even catch that the first time. And I also think 
going at people on the occasion is healthy. You know what I'm saying? There, there, there's, there's nothing wrong with saying, all right, Drake is at the top. I'm going to go at Drake in a healthy way or Big Sean. Um, I think he might have said J. Cole's name, but I don't remember. All of those dudes were kind of prominent at the time and, and telling them, yo, I'm here for it if you want it. I don't have a problem with that because it was done in the vein of hip hop. It wasn't like you come to me, I'm going to kill you. Literally. So if it's done respectfully, like, then it's okay. I, I think, yeah, me, you telling me that you're better than me, I shouldn't have a problem with that. You telling me that you're going to literally come to my house and shoot me up and kill my family, I got a problem, problem with that. With that. I can't, I can't be mad at you, but think, you're supposed to think you're better than me. If you don't, there's no way you're going to win. My job is to prove to you why you're not. That's that's mm -hmm. that healthy competition. I don't have a problem with that. But, you know, D I, I, Mr. I, I... Mr. DeMar, what, you were going to say something, may I ask? Well, I saw you like... Oh, do you, I do you, I do you agree? Do you agree? Do you no. think like the, the rapper should make a song like Control? Like, yo, this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. I'm naming names, taking names, kicking ass. <laughs> this is the song. Let it be what it is. What's good? <laughs> nah, I, I don't think so. I, I don't, I don't have a personally uh, a bone to pick with any of them. But no, nah, of course not. Why would you do that? What to get put on to, to like make some noise? Like uh, Fifty Cent had a rob? Maybe, yeah. If you want to shake up, if I'm trying to catch a buzz and and stuff like that, I can see it being a a, um, a gimmick or a prop. How yeah, how old, you, see you how, how old are you? How old are you, Demon? If you don't mind me asking, forty six. How old is Kendrick? I don't know. Fuck him. I'm thirty. Somewhere around thirty. Maybe I don't even know if he's that old. But when I'm, my point is simply, I think we're all in a different space now. You know what I'm saying? Like at at twenty six, twenty five, twenty four, I would have been much more aggressive at somebody that I felt was being billed as the person and I had that exposure. It's, it's the same thing as being at the park like the battle Very you cool. was doing that you was talking about. You know what I'm saying? If if I'm across from you and we in it, then you you go and go at me. The only people that are going to hear it are the people that are within that venue. It just happens that his venue was a lot bigger than the venue we may have been in. I, I think it was very much the same in that regard. Yo, I'm telling all y'all, none of y'all want it. It's not disrespectful. Yeah. I just think I'm better than all y'all. Yeah, but personally, everybody he called out was sucks. Uh, J. Cole, <laughs> what does he talk about? <laughs> Drake, <laughs> Drake, what does Drake talk about? <laughs> I don't get it. I like, they, they're, they're, I, like, they're not I, I actually like J. Cole. Not I don't necessarily I like agree with that. I, like <laughs> I got a theory, though. I, was say, I don't necessarily agree with not a popular that. opinion. <laughs> I, I got. I no, got. I tell though. you though, I there's they, a lot of people, don't do people like that. I don't. What was about to say? They, they don't, don't move me at all. Go ahead. All right. Well, so what? Could it be? Could it be that the whole point of all of that is mm -hmm. just to draw him out? What if That's he want? Mean. What if he wanted that healthy competition and he tired of sitting here with us? Gee. Mad, mad about niggas sapping. They ain't even really rhyming. They just they singing and exactly. shit. They got fucking exactly. synthesizer auto tune shit. What if he looking for? You know, y'all said y'all used to be dope or what? How everybody keep talking about right. some damn on your first mixtape you was hot shit. Well, where you at now? Exactly. What, what if he's where trying to bring them out? Yeah, no hey, you, you, no, no, check it out, check it out though. Hey, you, the little one, get over here. You the short one over there. Get over here. I'm picking out everybody that I know I can kick their ass. You, the little one over there, I'm going to step on you. I ain't going to go over there and call out big giant Jay-Z. Nah, no. Nah, I'm going to pick out people that I know I can snap their neck. It's a it's a great move because he... That's a good point. Look at where it took point. me to. It's strategy. I think it was more, they read, I think that's it was, the art of war. That's the art of war. I think war. part that's of that was... He, he, he did get the two big commercial dudes, though. The people the youngest yeah. thought were his peers. I, but I think it was peer group, right? That's what I'm saying. Like I don't. But that wasn't really his peer group, literally. <laughs> but the strategy. No, but it, but mm -hmm. it, but it's not. But we let 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 let's all first come to agree that it was a Big Sean song. Who's going to Big Sean albums for lyrics? 
Shit, a lot of the young I mean, I, I I think, but but I also walked through a grocery store and heard a bunch of young boys like, yo, Waka Flocka be spitting that fire. So I was about to Hey. Hey, Big Sean got some metaphors. He might have I like, I like, I like, I like Big Sean. Sean. I've grown to respect yeah. Big Sean. I'm not I'm not right. arguing that. But my point right. is simply you Big Sean is not one of the people that come up on anybody's top ten list as dopest MCs. But that's why Sean was like that's why he was put out by Kendrick doing that on his song. Kendrick knew it's it's the perfect placement. I'm gonna do it on your song. Because now you're gonna reap the you're gonna get popular, but also you're gonna feel a certain kind of way because I did it to you. And I'm calling you out too. It's a great move. Kendrick yeah. is a blood, he's a gang member. Gang member. Okay, I can see, I know certain things. There's literature that comes with gang improvement, black knowledge, do this, my group. Your group, step on you, move on you. You know what I'm saying? Divide, conquer, build and destroy. And now they come back around and saying, who's the best? Kendrick. And I, I think that was his- I Great think, move. I think, and right. And that's all, like, I think he was saying, basically, I'm better than you. If you don't think I am, come, let's, let's show it. Great and move. I, I can't be mad at him for that. I can't and he was be mad at him for that. to everybody. It wasn't just to those dudes. He just named them, but he was like, yo, anybody. Anybody. I, I, can't, I can't be mad at him for that. Why and, not? And I'll be honest, because I think it was in the spirit of competition. Like, yo, I'm begging right. you. If you disagree, come on. Let's let's see. The I'm, spirit not, of I'm not telling you to meet me in the square in the square circle. I'm saying pick your mic up and let's see who better. The spirit of competition and the spirit of business. Yeah, and it was yeah. great business. It was absolutely good yeah. business. Yeah, because I got Top Dog business. Entertainment right behind me. Top Dog Entertainment. Look at that. Top Dog. Not the middle dog. Not the low dog. I want to be the top dog. You see? It all comes. It's a strategic move. I think he did that to that Detroit boy. And check it out. <laughs> he did it. He did Yo. it. It, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It brilliant. And again, I think also what, what, we have to acknowledge really that he's a dope MC. He has the skill. Yes, that's he's exactly a dope what MC. What made he's it work MC. was he's got he's a dope enough MC to pull it off. Yeah, and J Cole is a dope MC as well. I didn't mean to say that. It just I, I didn't I just meant that he doesn't move me. I don't have well, to. Let's not everybody after that. Let's, let's right, be right. I, I, I don't want to offend after. anybody. Right. What you say? What you say, Pitch? I said uh, Cole did step his game up after that. It may not have been right after that, but I think that kind of influenced how Cole's okay. career took a little le a left and Cole started coming back with some more powerful, okay. more, more in look to tune with who he is stuff. Okay. So we're going record again and say, J. Cole got little baby to spit a verse that I actually like, yo. On that pride yeah. is the devil joint, yo. Little baby's verse on that joint is tough, yo. If you could... <clears throat> Decipher it. <laughs> it, takes, it takes a lot of listens, but once you get the piece it together, yeah, he, he I'm sorry. I, I, I much respect Little Baby and his contributions to hip hop culture. I, yo, I, 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 I don't know no other Little Baby stuff, but that first one, oh, no. <laughs> this first one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Cole, 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 Cole is a dope. Yeah, he What'd you say? Cole a dope MC to me. He he I'm like the mind though. He don't really I I try and try to get into mm -hmm. his music. I can't I cannot. Yeah. It is it, it I, I hate to use the word boring, but it's like it's boring. Like he he's a uh, I think he needs to to be on other people's production instead of just doing his production all the time. Like it's cool to do your own production, but you need to throw some extra flavor and spices in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know. It, I don't know. Like, cause that one album for your eyes only. I'm like, God, this dude is putting me to sleep, man. Like, what is this album? Like, I get the, I get the concept. I get where he was coming from, but damn, that album was boring. That album yeah. was boring. Uh, and then, and then, and then so the other one when he came out with a. Uh, the, 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 when he was like a king or something like that, KOD or whatever it was. Oh, KOD. That I was boring too. And, and he, he, even, he switched it up though. He's, he he threw more trap styles beats on there, but it was still 
I don't know who's still boring. Like, I, Young yeah. niggas love that though. Yeah, but yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, get it. My favorite yeah, J. Cole album, my favorite J. Cole was was the second one, the Born Center, the one, the one yeah. with uh, uh, I let not let Nas down and all that, cause he he got okay. all these different, he got all them different producers on there, and he was he was rapping different on there. Like now he's like, yeah. I, I don't know, I don't. He, yeah. I, I respect him. He's a dope MC. Like I would never test his opinion, but his yeah. his his albums to me are just boring. You know what I'm saying? K Dot, <laughs> now K Dot, like he. <laughs> They they try they try to categorize him with J Cole and Big Sean and all them. He he he, he, he don't past them. Yeah, man. His, yeah. His thought process, his mental process is on another level, man. Like he's abstract. To to pimp a butterfly is probably one of the. <clears throat> to me, he's probably one of the Creative. the best albums I've heard in a long time, man. Like yeah, great album. That's mm -hmm. a masterpiece to me. That when you, when you say classic, that's a classic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah. it, and, it wasn't, and it, people didn't think it was at the time. People kind of didn't understand it. It was ahead of this time. It was one of those albums. Dude, mm -hmm. I, I ain't gonna front. When I, when I first heard that album, and when I got to the end and realized the whole time he talking to Pop, I was like, oh, sh this dude is cold. Like, <laughs> that's what really put me on K-Dot, man. Like, <laughs> when, he, when he did the song Mortal Man, Mortal Man at the end, and mm. then you, you realize he's talking yeah. to Pot like I make like this mm -hmm. <laughs> masterpiece, yeah, man. That, that album, was, dude, that album was flawless, man. Yo, um, Tobias, how'd you feel about uh, Forest Hills Drive from, from Cole and and the last albums? I, those are my two favorite albums from him. Forest Hills Drive. I think no, actually, those are the two albums I like from him. Let me say that. Forest Hills Drive is the one we he's sitting on the roof, right? Yeah, yeah. That album was decent. That album was yeah. decent. Um, I think he, I still think he took a different approach. He, I think he kind of took the uh, the Drake approach with more of that that singing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because because Born Sinner, he was spitting. I don't you think know, he um, had tracks on there where he was singing a lot on there. But, you know, the um, first song I heard from Cole was called "Lights Please." That was um. I remember. I remember the night I heard. I heard the song. I remember where I was. Everything. That's how impactful the song was to me. Mm. That joint was hard as hell. And he was kind of sing song you on the hook there. Primo was playing it. Matter of fact, then when I heard it, I was on the highway. I know that what you're joint, talking about. I, I I held him to that bar ever since yeah. that. I don't think he's reached that bar since I've heard that song. Yeah. So that's why I'm not really a Cole fan. Yeah. Everybody no, else no, no. who's had a bar like that, like Jay Z, he's. Continually raised the bar for me. I know a lot of folks don't mess with me, but that's my man. I fuck with Jay. May I yeah. ask uh, Tobias? Your your interest sounds so just dynamic and eclectic. Do you have like a Spotify where people can like follow the, the things that you suggest or you like, like a Spotify mm. playlist? I I, yeah. I was on Spotify, but I'm, I I got <laughs> I got free Apple Music, so I'm, I'm on that now. <laughs> and, and, and in any of the platforms, it would be great because the songs you're talking about and how they impact you, and then we can go to your Spotify and like, you know, see where you're coming from would be so great. Oh, so definitely, definitely. If you ever make any of that and let it be known, yeah. that would be so great. Do you have a link tree? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, can, if you ever put that kind of uh, playlist on a link tree, that would be so great. Okay. Um, Mr. You know, Steve, what about Mr. Steve? Free too, right? You can at least create a playlist on Spotify for free. You can still use it for that purpose or whatever. Mm. I, okay, I, that's what I do. I, don't, I have I have Apple Music too, but I still go manage playlists inside of uh, Spotify. Got you. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna check that up. I'm gonna check that up. But let me just okay. say, let me just say this. Uh, yeah. Um, I know uh, Pitchfork was talking about his his last album. His last album is decent. It's 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 I right. like I. <clears throat> I like uh, 100 million is still on the grind. That's I, that's my shit. I don't. When I get high, I turn that on. I ain't gonna front. So, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we're talking about. But uh, as as, a, as the album as a whole, it's, it's still get to me. Got that. It still got that. I don't know, man. It, he just don't move me, man. Like the the first song with Cam. I was so hyped when I saw Cam on it. I'm like, yo, he yeah. got Cam on this track. But all he did was talk. So I got mad. I'm like, man, what the? <laughs> How you gonna waste Cam like that, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
then, and then he threw the little John stuff at the end. I'm like, oh, come on, man. You talking about the little John joint? Huh? Ain't fucking the little John shit at the end? I ain't. He, to me, he could have left that out. I think that, I think that kind of. Hey, my, my taste is all over. Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> J, J. Cole, Cole uh, that, the new Cole album, the first song on the on yeah, the, okay, on the that's track. right. Now I remember, we're right yeah. with Cameron talking this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember now. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's the most recent thing, right? The, the yeah. from a couple months ago. Yeah, that's yeah. the one you like that they got the baby on it, little baby. Yeah, little yeah. Little yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I like J. Cole, but I don't think I've liked any of his complete projects like that. Like I think there's stuff on yeah, each yeah. project. I'm like, yo, that was dope. Like, um. <clears throat> Yeah, mm-hmm. um, um, the, the joint about um, his son, uh, let dad let go my hand and pride is the devil. Oh, I yeah. think those are only two joints on the new one, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I mess with those wrestling joints. I'm like, ah, but I could, I, I could even I switch. Think, uh, no, go ahead. Not saying I could even switch over to because I know I like K Dot more than Cole, but I could even yeah. switch over to K Dot and say I didn't like his. Compared to, to the butterfly, I ain't like that. I ain't like damn too much, cause damn he went, he went a little more uh, commercial. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like he 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 fed them. You know what I'm saying? More than more than what he did for like people who listen to lyrics and concepts with you know with to pick the butterfly. So I mean, <laughs> but see, K Dot's first two out, K Dot's first three albums were were conceptual lyrical masterpieces man you know uh section 80 uh good kid mad city to pip a butterfly man them, them three albums right there were, is, is flawless man then you get the damn and it's like he rapping over what you hear on wgci 92.3 you know what i'm saying the radio stations you know what i'm saying so i mean he still kind of he still was spitting on some stuff but it was like far left than what we would want from him you know what i'm saying so I was not a K Dot fan initially. I did not like I did not like Kendrick that much initially. Man, Kendrick. I, I fuck with Kendrick yeah. too. I, I love Kendrick. I like him now. I, I, I fuck I, with I, Damn I, too though. I'll be honest. Yeah. I love the damn album. The yeah, yeah. I love that joint, man. That's cool. Yeah, shit. That's cool. That that cool. Yeah. I don't I don't remember too much. I don't remember too many of the songs on it, but I don't remember being mad at them. Be humble, I fuck with that. I, but I get it, that was a commercial sounding track and I get what you're saying about it. But I think he he did something different enough in there, like all the stuff he was doing, I guess, cause I listened to the engineering in the track, mm-hmm. all the different engineering tricks that were done in there and, and that the way he used technology in there, I fuck with that. I, I feel like he was just really playing the technology game on that album. Oh yeah, K, K- I definitely used that technology, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. I know whoever mixed his songs be like, God damn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I quit day one. No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I, I put some drums together for you, but now nah, <laughs> like, you like, no, I'm not tweaking. I'm gonna rap like this for the four bars. I'm gonna come in for two bars and coming in for a half bar. Like he, he all over the place, but he make it so. Yeah. He make he, he, he connects it, man. I don't know how he do. All it. right, so let's let, let's put everybody on the spot. Mid school. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no waffling. Favorite MC. Oh, favorite MC. Uh, then. I, told, I like to say people's names because we all in the game, but I would just go with uh, maybe mm, Slick Rick. Okay. Because of uh, the, the storytelling skills, um, it's just crazy. The storytelling skills, uh, he set the bar for it, and then just him participating in one of the the original 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 uh, songs with the mm. Dougie Fresh. What was the name of that? Uh, oh, Lottie, yeah. Lottie, 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 Lottie. 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 and just the instrumentality and the beatbox that was just for me like that's just so hip hop. Like it's just 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 beatboxing, rapping, stories, freestyling. Let's go. So I'm gonna go with uh, Stick Rick. What about you, uh, Alex? <clears throat> favorite MC. My favorite MC is uh, Ghostface. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, I should have known that. <laughs> I was, I was, I was going back and forth with uh, Ghostface and Black Thought, but I think Ghostface <laughs> embodies me 
like I, I, I relate to him more because of the for one, his his style is just different. You know, he, he's into mm-hmm. the comics. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he calls himself Iron Man, Tony Stark. You know what I'm saying? And he 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 do him. You know what I'm saying? Like the the man made a song about being underwater with SpongeBob. Like, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> and uh and and the shit was cold. You know what I'm saying? So I just think I think Ghostface is like my favorite MC because he 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 mm-hmm. do him. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't gotta understand it. You know what I'm saying? Just bob your head to it and like it. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. that's just what it is, man. Like his style, his style is unique, man. Like you know it's Ghostface. Like you if anybody try to imitate them, you gonna know somebody trying to steal his style. You know what I'm saying? So you just know this <laughs> him. So that that's he my favorite MC. So you don't have to mm-hmm. understand it. Just bob your head and like it. Sounds not like the father to mumble, but we'll come back to that later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what about Those you, faces. Ah. I think even though he's respected so much, I think he's still underrated. Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, we're gonna yes. have to come back to that one. Yes. What, what about you, Sha? Yeah. Who's your favorite MC? You know, I literally don't have a favorite, man. I I got a bunch of MCs I really fuck with, but no favorite. Nope, nope, I mean, nope, and you nope, talking about? Not, I mean, nope, are you talking nope. about? <laughs> we need one. We need gun one. to the head. Gun to the hey, head. Gun to the head. I don't know. I, I was trying I to avoid saying that most, phrase, but yeah, the most that's impactful. The, the MC that impacts you the so, most is it? Is it um different the, that, that redefined you? The album MCs that redefined you. Commercial project. I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't matter. It has to. Re- it has to be an album that redefined mm. who you were. Mm. I don't know if that's really a criteria because you. I, I think it's just it's personal, right? So yeah, that, that's right. another conversation. Why is kind of yeah. irrelevant? It's just who, that's, that's a good question for for a different round. It's yeah. a dope question, and I'm gonna come to myself, and I don't want to have to deal with it. That's why I'm trying to figure <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's leave that alone, please. So, all right. So she, let me get this up. Is it, is it MCs that are out that, that are commercially? It doesn't matter. It's this doesn't yours, matter. Joe. It's yours. Yeah. Oh, my it's favorite yours. is Father Lord. Father Lord was my favorite MC ever. Nasty Who? dude. Favorite producer too. Who? Father Lord. He's a brother that taught me how to make. Well, taught me how to step up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And, and taught me how to pin more poisons too. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's definitely. He, he passed okay. away in '97. He, he was definitely the nastiest MC I, I've ever been. He used to write rhymes in his head way before I heard about Big NJ doing that. And his lines were fucking amazing. He, uh, shit. I, I ain't even gonna get his lines. I'll I, I find something from him and deliver it to y'all. But he's, he's definitely the nastiest MC ever, man. What about you, okay. Jamon? Blended. Uh, shit. Um, I mean, I'm on the same lines as that. Um, I did realize that uh, Just Ice really, really woke me up back when I first heard it. I just, I have a a, a 97 um, Forerunner and it has a tape tape deck in it. So I, that car has all tapes. So I haven't driven it in a while. So I jumped in there today. Just Ice came on and I was like, oh, wow, that's that's right. That's right. I forgot. Booger Bandit Bitch, all that shit. Um, yeah, I like Just Ice. That's Noriega, is it is it no? Is something floating yeah, out there? Man. Noriega said that he was hotter than Jay Z and all that stuff this past week, and yeah, everybody yeah. been getting on Nori saying, "Oh, uh, Nori <clears throat> whack and all that shit." But Nori, what? huh? Noriega Nori's what? Man, that's one of what? my favorite. Yo, <laughs> Nori, man, that's my that's like that's like my heart right there. Like right. Nori, yeah. what? Who said that? I want to know this. I don't know what right. they're listening to. <laughs> Cause he he said at one point he was hotter than Jay Z, DMX, yeah, yeah. and everybody had an album out. He was, he was just telling the truth, but everybody kind of took it as him saying that he better than him. Everybody's yeah. supposed to say that. You're supposed to say that, <laughs> right? Talking about reggae tone and all that stuff. Nori boy, you're I not gonna say, you're not gonna say somebody else's girl <laughs> looks better than your girl. You're not gonna say somebody else's mom is better than your mom. You're not gonna say somebody right. else's music is better than your music. That's right. That's, that's right. why. That's why I couldn't be an MC, man. I don't have that in my. I don't but have that in my spirit. Your, I just don't care. You, you say you 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 run better than me. So what? I don't believe that shit. I need to be better yeah. than me. I mean, you yeah. got Roy. I don't know. You can beat what's going on inside here. Better than me. <laughs> but what what about you, Steve? Who's your favorite MC? Well, I um, 
again, that's that's really difficult. But I will say that the MC that kind of <clears throat> that kind of helped me to develop um, develop a more mm. uh, develop develop my personality a bit more was Busta Rhymes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I listened the the first the first album Let's that I. The first album that I actually heard was actually his ELE album. And I think the fact that he was able to take like hyper violent imagery and then combine it with humor over really dope beat, you know, talking about beating somebody right up out their shoes, you know, just and he would he would he would he experimented with his voice. He um his beat selection was excellent. Um, he had a crew that supported him in a really aggressive, his energy was strong. Um, and then he would periodically, mm -hmm. he would periodically <laughs> drop hints of, of an impending doom that was coming. So he was he was prophetic. Like ELE was, was his extinction level event, which is basically when a uh, disaster occurs to a planet where uh, all life will be uh, will be extinguished. It's a, a series of it's a series of events where the where life on the planet just can't be sustained anymore due to an extreme uh, extreme circumstances. And he described he described those types of situations, but being but still being victorious. And sort of leaving a blueprint behind of like of listen, you know, stack your paper, you know, stack your chips. Uh, uh, five, we've got five years left before this whole thing occurs. So he he gave. So he wasn't purely bravado and bragging upon his skills and his ability to defeat his opposition, but he was he was also uh imparting knowledge and establishing a warning and, and giving a mentality that you need to adapt in order to survive the environment especially as it's going to be increasingly uh increasingly challenging to, to live through um he had no problem expressing himself to the complete fullest uh he had no he had no restraints uh there was nothing holding him back in him expressing how he feels. Um, he had no problem being uh, charismatic. He had a he had a major sense of humor, um, and um, and he had support behind him. And so these seem like these seem like the elements. He was imparting elements of survival in today's society, even with the stack even with the chips stacked against you. And so I found his, I found that album to be largely informative and uh, motivational. Uh, and so I really, I was really, that was an album that really redefined me because it helped me to become more expressive in my life. And then the next uh, album that uh, was, it was Talib Kweli's um, uh, the train of thought, e reflection eternal, which mm. was that was a really major album for me because it was it was largely positive. It was a, it was a it was um, <clears throat> it was somebody that was paying tribute to our past for once, and 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 someone who knew our history. And knew what we were going through, and still had a, a, a really a real positive vibe. Uh, understood the streets, understood the pain of it, and was able to give poetry and, and inform us of where we came from, where we are, um, and expressing what we've got inside of us. Um, and and by telling us that we and 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 doing it in an orderly fashion. Um, and despite the fact that that album was troubled between him and his producer, even though those two were an excellent DJ high tech, um, an excellent DJ, excellent producer, 
uh, even though it was trouble, they were able to get the message, um, to get the message out. And I didn't even know music could really, I wasn't aware that, uh, that music could really be all of those elements like that. Uh, I hadn't, I, I hadn't heard, um, uh, the love movement at the time yet. Uh, which was a, I think was a great album in, in itself too. Uh, but that album ended up leading me to say, well, where can I find more of this? So I ended up finding Raucous Records, Sound Bombing, Volume 3. And then uh, I started, it, it kind of led me on a journey to, to seek out conscious rap. Because um, I had, I, mm -hmm. I, received this, I received this survival, I received survival rap. Uh, Cause I needed, you know, I needed to, I needed to have the tools that I needed to survive the streets of Chicago um, or New York, whatever. But, uh, but then the, the reflection eternal said, Hey, you can still be um, an intellectual. You can still know your history. Uh, you can think beyond your next meal, think beyond your next meal. Think about where you come from. Think about who you are. Think about what you're made of. Um, you can be a poet even in the streets, uh, and so it was. It was. It, you can know your black history. You can. You can. You can complain. You can. You can file a complaint <laughs> about the injustices here without having to be just as dirty as they are. Um, and so that really, that was a profound album. That I that it's uh those were just really defining albums for me. So that would be. Those were two of them that I like. What about you, Bear? I know you're trying to wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say this real quick, then I'm out. But um, it's it's two really. The the, the first one I run through quick. Um, That's a cheat, but we won't talk about. This uh, uh, Pharaoh Munch. Oh. There you go. And that's that's no no need to explain why he's <laughs> one of my favorites. Absolutely not. And then the second is nineties common. Oh, mm. not, come on. Oh. Not oh, not the, not recent common, but nineties common. Please. Back Bless when he up. actually wanted to rhyme. I Ooh. I really prefer him to just act and do activism now instead of making albums, but mm. it, it is what it is. We had to touch oh, what about what about common B? We, we can we can beat? touch on B. B was dope. I give him B. Okay. I give him some of finding forever. Sure. You know, I'm still trying to revisit Electric Circus because I feel <laughs> like I missed something. It, uh, it, yeah. it, it it may be there, and I just <laughs> missed it. I, I just missed it, but there's yeah, a lot of other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say would it come down to him he had a flow and now he just rhymes you know it would and, and, and I don't I don't like his I don't like his flow pattern now and he been sticking with this shit for damn near 20 years now and I really wish it's one of them shit get off the pot and <laughs> you know and it was like yeah, the, 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 the eight minute free the eight ten minute Is freestyle content? was nice. It was nice that, that he let people see him do that. But then we gonna go right back into this lazy ass flow he got now, and and every other and we gotta have eight songs about love and shit and. You know, and all I really want him to do is put the t-shirt and the baggy jeans back on and just go in. Yeah. So, so, it, so, it, so, it, so it basically, content? it's not '90s common. It's pre-Erica common. I don't even is know it, if it's pre-Erica. It's it '90s it common. Is it the content that I'm you want free Erica? Like yeah, now? free Erica. Or is it the? Or is it the? Hmm. See, it all came at the same time, so it's hard to say. That that lazy flow shit came with the the extra love wow. content, and not so much. It's it's not love and women. It's love everybody. Everything is, you know, everybody love everybody. I get it. Black is beautiful. I get that shit. I get it. I get it. But damn it, man. Sometimes you just want to hear him spit. I just want to hear him spit. You know. So basically, common 
P.E. Pre Erica. Yeah. I'm not saying pre Erica. I'm I'm finna pull a mid school. I I respect <laughs> Erica Badu. <laughs> right. And and I respect <laughs> Common and his lyricism. No, Erica is you a know. great contributor <laughs> to the music. We respect her. She's very powerful. I seen her perform live in Tokyo. She's dope. She's very dope. He's definitely but yeah. something on stage. Yeah. Yeah, hold, hold, hold the I thoughts wanna, about it. Yeah, I want to we'll come back. About this comment more, yo. Yeah, I we'll come back to it. This comment a bit more. Yeah. We'll come back Next to week. it. But I gotta go though, for real. All right, be safe, bro. All right, I holler, y'all. Peace, brother. Peace, man. Yeah, I know, shy. It's about eleven. I know you're talking about you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so. All right, y'all about to get out. It's definitely pre Eric comment though. That was that's what he's talking about. I, I'm I'm gonna say it. he that's when he he did the same thing that well Andre 3000 is the only one that survived Eric in terms of like maintaining. He I think he elevated. Oh, uh, he started Eric. wearing rugs and oh, yeah. And I'm about to say like he, he, he got him too. Yeah, he he got he, he's coming out on stage with football pads after after messing with Eric and all that shit on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. So I think was, but I think but I'm talking about his lyrical content because yeah. I think I he was able. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was within three to four feet of her at the Dallas airport. So I'm three to four feet away. We didn't even talk. All I did was say hi, and I can understand how. All of this could happen to these dudes. So, <laughs> so, so I, uh -huh. you know, we didn't even. I said, "Hey, Miss Badu," and she spoke Daddy. back, and I was ready to risk it all. So I can understand how if you actually had a taste, yeah. it's probably not coming back. So I'm not even mad at them dudes. Like I get it. <laughs> so she, she's walking shrooms. She's living shrooms. No lie. <laughs> Man. He's a walking yeah. strong trip, bro. <laughs> Steve, thanks for coming on, bro. We really yeah, appreciate that, man. You, man. It's it's nice to be brought a lot, man. Indeed, right. indeed. Did anybody have your contact information outside of Bear? I'm on Instagram, and I can and I can send all my information, all that information to you from there. It's no problem. Okay, because I was yeah. going to say we can call you. That's Dot Anderson on Instagram. What is okay. it? That's Dot Anderson? Okay. Probably yeah, that's D-O-T Anderson. Hmm? Okay, we should set a date, and then like Shaw was saying earlier, like we got this software that allow us to kind of work on the beat real time okay. while in Zoom. So you know, I, I'd be down to try to do that as a working session if y'all want it, man. Ooh, mm. ooh, yeah. you ain't playing. Nah, I, mm. Hey, man, this, this is about all the exercise, man. Yeah, yeah. it's about doing. I look, I look forward to Wednesdays like y'all wouldn't believe, yo. Nice, yeah, nice. Same here, I, hey, I love, I love to see, man. I love to see y'all work, man. I, I would love to. Like I'm, I, I, by all means, anything I can contribute to, use my voice for whatever you need, like uh, your phrases, uh, monologues, yeah. whatever, Intr interludes, intros, outros. Um, I don't know if you knew if T Bear told you. I already had you planned for something. I already had you on on my list of uh, people to have for for a series of songs. Demond actually gave us a, a dope title for for a, a song called Gray Hairs. Gray Hairs, but it's it spelled the word airs actually, but it's spelled like gray hairs. Nice. And um, Kareem did a song already that is crazy. He's just telling a random story, and I was like, Yo, what if everybody had a song where they're telling their own little random story, and it's a series for each MC. They can they each continue their own story as on different songs as they go on. And I was like, yeah. you know what? We could even have Steve narrate each of their stories on this. So you are you are on deck for me in my mind already, bro. Definitely. So I, 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 to I did. I had an idea similar to that. It was going to be called a project called the Dossier, where basically, I um I, I don't know if you guys used to watch. I think it was called Gangland, where it was like Bing Rames would like introduce, uh, would introduce a gang and and all of its and every and the list of things that they accomplished, what they had done, in like a summary. And I think, um, and then eventually, uh, Ludacris did an album. I think it was called Red Light District. I think it was. I'm not, or uh, no, it was called Theater of the Mind. Okay. And, it's a song, there's a track on there 
um, with Titty Boy, Dollar Boy, which was Player Circle, and which would eventually become Two Chains. Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Rick Ross and Ludacris, and then uh, Ving Rhames introduced each one of those individuals, uh, by, you know, prior to them getting on the track. Mm -hmm. um, if I, when I come up with the name of that song, I'll, I'll let you know. But no, I'm uh, trying. He's like, he's like a hustler unbound by law, a self-made millionaire, ludicrous on Southern Gangster. And then the beat comes in. And then, and then so then Ludacris does his intro coming hard as hell with who he is and what he about. And then he introduces Rick Ross uh, and say, you know, Rick Ross, the boss with multiple businesses, you know, and, 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 and uh, repeated acts of violence, this man. And he basically, he basically gives an intro to who he is, what he's about and what he's done. And then Rick Ross does his thing. And then talks about, then they talk about play a circle. These did, these guys did a quarter field selling mid grade, you know, and it's just, and it was, a, <laughs> you know, and so I'm like, I would love to do that type of a, do that type of an intro for, for various, for various artists or various members, various people, and just be like, hey, whatever, whatever it is you want me to say, you know, he, this man's a legend. This man's a gangster. This man's, you know, a, uh, this man is, uh, is a can of whoop ass and he's Costco, whatever it is, you know, I would love to put something together where, you know, it sets the tone. It sets the tone for who that person is. And what they what they are, what they're about, um, and and get to the point where if I if if I continue to do this, then I become something like a certifying uh, uh, a certifying tool to say, okay, if my voice is on it, then this person has reached a certain level of certification that that they can that they can be spoken of that there's of someone of notoriety and um and you know really you know and it can be anything it, it's uh, um, i could be literally the the mtv cribs of uh, mc in terms of giving you a a giving you a uh just the livest uh living obituary mm -hmm. you know yeah. or, the, or, or the livest give you the livest resume life's resume whatever however you you know you want to define it or redefine it um you know and then every every other thing but that was my that was an idea i had so i like i like your idea as well um it, i was just i just something right along that parallel Okay. It, it, do y'all remember uh, the Chronic album when yeah, they had yeah. the, um, they had the like oh, the yeah. DJ come in, kind of narrate. Right. I, I hear you narrating like a great score instead of um, mm -hmm. karate like Wu Tang used. Like your voice could be like carry up from song to song, or, or maybe okay. two songs and then oh. your voice, and then you're you're a consistent. You sound like Grace Skull. The door okay. open and dropping and hitting oh. the roof. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Welcome right. to Grace Skull. You dig what I'm saying? So, that's that's, that's... where I was headed. Well, good. Brimstone, Grace Skull. Brimstone, Brimstone should be a song. And yes. Brimstone, the song should be the forming of Grace Skull. And everybody should come almost with whatever their He Man like or superhero power is. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So almost a character art, character development type song. And that's right. where your narration kind of comes in, right? And what I was right. thinking about was almost right. playing on that almost to a level of comedy mm. for 
my first. Like I, I just got you. But but the the, the bottom line, kind of like I think everybody's starting to kind of see the same vision. It just needs to right. really flesh it out. But yes, yeah, I think I work through it. Yeah, one one, and it it could be great airs or you know brimstone or whatever. It could be anything. I think I think we need one. It be everything. Yeah. Like, kind of like you were saying, um, where we you. You're the voice that says, you know, and you know, you're the voice of reason, yeah. You know, what okay. I'm saying? And, you know, Chicago, you're the narrator. You know, street sweeper. You know, right. You know, average man by day. You know, superhero at night. Testament right. at one. Lost guaranteed. And then the mom. Comes <laughs> and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, kind of that. That whole. Yeah. Build up, you know what I'm saying? To buy all it, opponents, you know? your losses are guaranteed. That's you might excite me. Grace Bull, my pin back, right? right, 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 right Brimstone, I'm, 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 you're talking or something. I, Man, I, I need to go chef. back and listen to what you did, to, uh, Mr. Five Pizza or Magnified Pizza, and, and kind of start start something on that. All right, okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. If you if you got some if you got some uh some scripts or some or some intros, um it, whether it rhymes or not, um as long as I can when I when I hear the beat, I can kind of either have a flow with it or just take my voice and then apply it on the beat if however you like it. I don't know if you guys prefer post production or or what's how you like to do things. We're gonna, we're gonna, it's we're free. It's, it's gumbo, basically the way, way we do it. Whatever happens to work that day is what happens to work that day. If you happen to be on a session cool, if you happen to have a beat, you have the ability to record yourself and you just want okay. to do it at 2 a.m. at home alone, okay. send it in, that's cool, whatever works. Okay. We're, yeah. we're really looking to get working sessions going to kind of play around and have some fun on, on, in the labs soon. We got to fight through the technology parts of it, I think, first. Not fight, but we got to work through the technology parts and kind of make sure that we can get a a smooth session going, I think, before we really get sailing. But that, and that's actually what we were supposed to do today was start testing some of the tech. But we'll do that okay. maybe next week, the week after. I okay. think we, today was perfect because we got to meet you, we got to talk to you, and I think we needed we needed this to happen. So this is this is perfect, man. Cool. Brimstone, brimstone, brimstone. I, brimstone. I, <laughs> it's, it's, brimstone, brimstone. Why don't you make magnified pizza the beat for brimstone? Um, yeah, I was thinking brimstone spills forth from the dragon's pitchfork. <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievable. Like, bro. This, is, know, we, this is incredible. If, it's incredible. If, if y'all, if you want to use yeah. magnified pizza, we can. But I, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not opposed to that. I, yeah. I'm saying, like I said, I'll go back in and finish. I'm with that. Um, okay. But oh, no, yeah. I'm, I'm cool with it. If that's what you, if y'all want to use it, I'm cool with that. But I, I think conceptually. Mm -hmm. Let me let me try to flesh this out. But some of the things that we've talked about, I think we could pull this together and mm -hmm. shoot shoot. If you can shoot me a list of tracks, shoot me a list of if I'm on I'm on Facebook or Instagram. Shoot me a list of tracks that have some examples of what you of what you'd like, the type of energy that obviously would resonates with what you're what you're talking about, the vibe that you like. So again, like uh, for example, um, uh, you know, uh, what's that uh, from uh, Dr. Dre? Uh, yeah, yeah. We were talking about like the different things. <laughs> yeah. W E Z D D and Dr. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Right. 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 Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So whenever somebody yeah. has one of those tracks, yeah. in my, smack you know, that ass. Right. You're welcome, dude. All right. Okay. <laughs> and it's okay. All right. All right. All right. She is, I'm excited. Yeah. This, this is dope. Yeah, I think we I we, think. we inspired. We inspired. I'm with Very good. And Steve, I want to make sure we get a chance again. I, I, I wish we had a chance tonight, man. I, I didn't get to do much homework, but I, I want to learn more about you as a person, too, man. It's story, okay. man. Like how you cool. got to do it? I know we don't really have the time at night because I'm, I'm, I'm about to crash. I'm half dead, half down already. Um, I want to make sure we get the circle back around and really like get to, get to interview, interview, man. Because you seem like an interesting dude. I mean, I've looked at your profile already before, 
And I, I'm, yeah. you already on my list. You're literally on my list. I have a Google Doc with you on my list of people I wanted to interview. So, I man, I appreciate. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know why. Yeah, I was already following you. I think I was. I think I saw you. I think you do. You do stuff, don't you, on Instagram? Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. I, I've done a couple of done a couple of like mixtapes. Uh, there's a there's one with a mixtape. Uh, uh, there's a Houston rapper whose nephew who's like a nephew of uh, Bun B, and so he asked me to do uh, an intro and a couple of interludes on his album, and it got and ended up getting you know some attention. So then I ended up helping folks with different things. I've done uh, some commercials. Um, and more or less that I'm I'm trying to put my voice to good use because I, I work in I, I, I work in technology. So um, I haven't had the time or I haven't uh, I haven't reached out to folks and started saying, OK, well, I'm ready to do more work. Uh, but T-Bear, I saw T-Bear, uh, you know, blending, you know, he was he was he was blending, you know, his mixes. And I'm saying, hey, I got you, brother. I love. Uh, I do, you know. Let me throw you, do you a quick intro. So that's every your voice. Time, yeah, T Bear. That's why you sound so familiar. Holy shit! Wow, yeah. that's why you sound so familiar. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. I, love I, I, I just, I just sent him a little something, you know, because you know he, he other cats had their little intros and whatnot. I was like, let me give yeah. you something. Let me, let me make you official like a referee with a whistle. Let me know. Let me help you. Out. <laughs> <laughs> pimping been pimping since pimping been pimping. Damn, okay, all right. <laughs> You know what I I'm saying? You, pimp, I got you, OG. You good, man. You know, you know pimps yeah. got to live, hoes got to give. You feel me? Yes. <laughs> man. Wow. Once again, yeah. though, I think you got something special. This is is building. Yeah, it really. I mean, I need to a minute to say, you guys, we've been having some dope ideas, too. I don't know if you get enough credit for the ideas you have, man. Oh. Gray hairs, the, the, yeah. the gray scully, he, he just, man, I asked him how he felt about the merch today. He said, oh, yeah, that's, that's dope. He said, but uh, we need to do some scullies and call them joints gray scullies. I was like, oh. <laughs> hey, hey. Yo, and, and it's, it's wild, like. And he, he, he's got a thousand little ideas like that. I don't think you get enough credit for them ideas, man. So I just want to make sure I gave you no, your Demond, yeah, Demond, 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 Demond is definitely dope, man. Demond, that's the, that's in the in the rhyme, they came up in the rhyme, Grace Scully. So look for it's gonna be coming out. Uh -huh. Okay. One is, yeah. One is, <laughs> right. Like, actually sitting down and having a chance to shop it up with you when I was in Chicago, man, was, was very, yeah. very. Man, I appreciate rewarding. it, man. You know what I'm saying? It. Just you know what I'm saying, like the to, to kind of like you know how you like I felt like I kind of knew you because you know we was always online or whatever, but like that, right. like, I'm like yo this. You know what I mean? Dude is who he who he presents himself. Like, you know, sometimes That's right. People, you know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's it's gonna it's always genuine. It's gonna be genuine. It's mm -hmm. really That's, it. I don't That's know right. another way to do it, because I can't keep up with too much other stuff, you know. So I'm gonna just give you who I am. You either <laughs> like it or you don't. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> And yo, I'm about to sign off, fellas. I'm gonna get my son something to some milk real quick and try to get him in the bed. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, y'all. Thanks bro. again, man. Pleasure bro. to meet you, bro. I'm going to follow you here in a second, and we'll, we'll definitely stay in touch, man. All right, we'll be in touch. Have a good night, Much bro. respect, right. gentlemen. Good night, I appreciate it. Peace. Peace. Kareem Muse. With one to dial. Yo, Dragon's Pitch 4. Yeah. Back in the day, today, it's all the same Originality, tag a train, get fame, spit flame My partner's name, Godzilla, I be a hard to kill killer In a group form, in ciphers all night long Now they only cipher at BET Awards The show I heard about, I get bored and freestyle Me and my man be the one to die Before smartphones, I was attacking clones If it was known, it was known, no hashtag but skills you had to have A good energy The rules don't change We something like referees In black and white and zebra stripes like wow Control the game and blow the whistle on anything to spout My style is borderline pristine It's like magic how I'm worthy of showtime When I rhyme with Kareem Oh yeah
I'm from the days of word is bond When a kid had more than ad lib to get on Emit devilish flame every time I perform And keep a dragon's pitchfork inside a black Yukon Most will miss that, I ain't got time to explain Suffice to say, what I say is worthy of praise Digest that, two things I am sick and black Charge a handle, pull back, keep him in line like a click track Mumble the trap to choose which evil is less as a stressor The doc said it's bad for my blood pressure So I stick to hip hop and concoct something fresh as new linen, but smooth as single malt butterscotch. Yo, it's way too easy. Way too easy. Chicken wings and shiny cars, rim spinning half dread women, the world is ours. Yeah. They on my grind, he's 99. Mm. More thugs, camouflage drugs with turpentine. Fourth of July, how many times yeah. will bottle rockets pop off, taking another life? Temperatures hot as McDonald's fries, sporting tank tops and flip flop. Guess who trending on TikTok? Backyard birthday parties and kids running around trying to do the new dance to the, the sounds. Summertime. Project life, living like good times. My people all over the world, we celebrate Clementine, lemonade in the shade Playing spades with a stocking cat Trying to grow me some waves We all get involved, this cat and dog Bumping Biggie Smalls, round of applause We did it all in the We came up together, tougher than leather Used to run with DMC, try to keep the family together Mama came home late from her workspace Try to hook us up with a hot plate Couple cube steaks Pop was a rolling stone pocket full of stones Cop patrol the city we wrong, we made it home in the Let it be known Hey yo, the boy d just gave you a photogenic view of summertime in the shot Summertime in the city of wind Real spitters Hey yo, we got T-Bell on the cuts I go by Tobias Black, aka Tobias the Gallant Real rhymer Boom Bap is alive and well Understand Great skull. Great skull.